We're here with the Miss Grace Vanderwall. How are you? Good. So you're playing a show tonight. How exciting. Yes. That's it's really, really cool. exciting because it's Cindy Lauper. I know. So it's really exciting because she's like kind of Cindy Lauper. So. She's totally Cindy Lauper <laughs> with her amazing pink hair. Yes. So cool. I know she has pink hair now. But... Oh, I just saw her downstairs. Are, are you going to meet her soon? You should be meeting her soon. Definitely. Well, I met her before because like we did a rehearsal mm -hmm. and then the other like four rehearsals. So. Yeah. I mean, it's no big deal, but we're like kind of best friends. You're kind now. of best <laughs> friends. You're totally best friends. That's so cool. So you've had quite a big, like, past few weeks right now, not just in, like, the year. We'll talk about that. But the past few weeks, you just released an EP. Yes. You were at the Chris or the Thanksgiving parade. Oh, my goodness, so much. So let's talk about all of it. So your EP, you were just telling me that your sister did the artwork for it. That's pretty cool. How did that happen? Um, my sister is an amazing, talented artist. And... Um... Yeah, I was like, do you want to do, like, some kind of art? And she did a one piece where it was, like, she did a stencil, like, this girl, and then all this, like, stuff coming out. And I was like, let's recreate it. And That's amazing. That's so cool. And the per the Thanksgiving parade, that was fun. How was that? That was so much, so cold. Yeah. It was so much fun. It was really it, worth like, it. It snowed for, like, a second, didn't it? It was so weird. I think it did. It might have. It might have. I think there were some flurries or something. That's so cool. Did you meet anyone there that you hadn't met before that you're really excited about? Oh, oh, geez. Oh. <laughs> I met this one person. It was like really crazy. Oh. No. Oh, I met Fitz from Fitz and the Tantrums. But there's the other girl. I can't. I want to say Daya, but like it was Daya. Yes. yes. It yeah. was Daya. It yeah. was. Super duper exciting. Yeah. That's so awesome. And tonight you have a lot of cool people here too. Are you excited to meet someone that you haven't met? Yes. Um, I'm just excited to meet new people and to, like make new friends. Yeah. Well, that's cool. So America's Got Talent. Let's talk about that. That's so exciting. When you, so your mom convinced you to audition. Is that right? Oh, I mean, she didn't really, like, convince me. She just kind of signed me up, like, and it wasn't, when you sign up for America's Got Talent, you're not signing up, going to L.A. and then right. going in front of the celebrity Right, judges. of course. You sign up, and then they, like, put you in groups for your talent. So if you're a dancer, you'll be with a bunch of dancers. If you're a magician, you'll be with a bunch of magicians. I was with, like, other singers. And then you sing for a girl, and, like, she'll say, like, we'll get back to you in a few months. And we just did it for the experience. Um, obviously, we, like, didn't think I was going to get on. And so my mom signed me up for, like, the experience of an audition. And then we got a letter saying, come out to L.A. Oh, my God. That's so exciting. So right now, people are actually auditioning for the show. Do you have any advice for anyone who's, like, going through the process right now? Mm. I gotta think, because it's gotta be, like, a really good one. If you're okay, watching. so we'll come back to it. We can come back to that. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Just, like, have fun with it. Don't stress too much. Yeah. Because that will, like, show through on what you're doing and just, like, be cool. Act like you're just practicing it again. Yeah, that's actually good advice. A lot of people who I've talked to that do this, they always kind of have similar advice where it's basically like, if you're really into doing whatever it is that you're doing, you should just kind of keep doing it and not really worry about what's going to happen. Because then if you keep doing it, then eventually, you know, you'll continue to keep doing it, you know, it'll be cool. And uh, are you writing new songs right now? Trying. Um, because... Hopefully, I have a full album coming soon, and that's not like saying like coming no, no. soon. Full no, no, album, no, no, no. You're saying that you would like for it to hopefully. happen. Yes, and, um, that requires a lot of work. So, gotta start now. It's like you just finished a project, and closing a project opens a new one. Exactly. Is there anyone like in the future that you you would really like to work with in terms of like? songwriters or producers or other musicians or anyone that you really look up to? Uh, Megan Trainor, I would love to like sing with her and do, I love Megan Trainor so much and Katy Perry. Megan Trainor, 
and Katy Perry are like my two female. <laughs> they are amazing people. Well, I'm sure if you keep putting it out there, eventually they're gonna call you up and be like, "Let's do something." I was gonna meet. I was literally like so close to meeting Katy Perry. And, like, <gasps> I was freaking out, and I was in LA, and we were gonna meet like on this beach, and like I had butterflies in my stomach the whole day. I was like, "Oh my god, I'm gonna meet her!" And then it was like, "What happened, Mom? Was it traffic or something?" She was going to China, and then it was getting too late, and we couldn't do it. <gasps> going to China, and it got too late, and we couldn't do it. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, It's going to happen again. <laughs> it's definitely going to happen again. So when um, so when you do meet Katie again, because it's going to happen. <laughs> when you do. When you do, because it's going to happen. What would you guys like to do? What would you hope to do with her? I don't know. I'd probably just really weird her out, because I'd be, like, crying and screaming. <laughs> <laughs> She'd be so excited. I'm sure she's used to it also. Like, I'm sure everybody cries and screams yeah. and freaks out when they see her. They're like, oh my god, we love you! Um, so the holidays are coming up. You have Christmas coming up. Is there anything exciting that you're looking forward to doing? Like, I'm going to St. Martin. Um, we usually do, like, a family vacation this mm -hmm. time of the year um, because, like, it usually gets cold. Last year, we, like, went to Aruba. We only usually have, like, one trip because, like, expensive yeah of course it is it. and so i've been looking forward to this all year i don't know why I'm, i usually don't get like this excited but for some reason i'm like this excited like, yeah well it's also good to have like a nice change of scenery and like just yeah, do something where you don't have to worry about like all the normal stuff that you're used to doing but i will still be uh, having a white christmas we're coming home christmas eve so, so we have a, a nice family Christmas at the house. Oh, and you're in upstate? Upstate New York. Oh, it's so nice. And you have a, you recently got a pet pug, is that right? Yes. Oh, so cute. There's a lot of exciting things going on. So right many now. exciting <laughs> things. Oh my goodness. I bet, so would you, so tell us about your pet pug. Uh, his name is Frankenstein. Frankenstein? Yeah. Oh my goodness. And he's very well behaved. He is a adorable little old man. He looks like a little old man, just like in a pug form. And Aww. I love him so much. He actually, uh, we just took him to the vet today. Today we did like some errands yeah. before we came here. Yeah, of course. And like to start off the day, we took him to the vet. And he got his puppy shots, Aww. but he was very good. He got lots of treats afterwards. Aww. So That's... I just want to keep him happy. I'm like, I'm holding his arm like, I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry, but I have to do this. Yeah, make him healthy. <laughs> um, someone said hello to you. So hello. Hello. Um, so in addition to, to your sister doing drawing, is there anything else creative you guys like to do together? Together? I mean, um, when I was in school, I was in the marching band with her. Uh, it's a high school marching band, so she was in it because of the high school, and I was in it just just cause. Like, right. I was like, I was like a loner, so I was like maybe if I join, I can make some new friends. I didn't, but it was so <gasps> really fun. So. Well, you had fun. You obviously so learned your music. Fun. That's so cool. I love how you, like, convinced them to let you join the high school marching band. That's amazing. That's really cool. No, that's, like, super cool. You should be excited about that. I, well, the football games were really fun to be like, you don't want to go to war with the Mounties. So yeah. people are starting to ask questions. Someone asked why 12 Stars is called 12 Stars. What inspired the name? You know what? I was going to call it 16 Moons for no reason. I just liked the way it sounded. I was like, that sounds really cool. And apparently there were like 50 other songs named that. Oh, so really? I, like, I can't name it that. So I was like, okay, I'm going to name it like something stars. I'm 12. 12 stars. Well, that's cool. See, it's a very... I wish it had a deeper meaning, but it doesn't. It's actually pretty logical and, and <laughs> it's really cool. Um, someone asked what your favorite song that you've written so far was. Gossip Girl, definitely. Amazing. Oh, actually, someone asked if you finished Stranger Things yet. Let's talk about no. that. No. I know. I know there's only, like, like seven episodes.
kilos or something. But eight. Like, eight? Okay. Oh, you know what you're I know, girl. <laughs> um, but, like, I've been watching, like, two episodes at a time. So I'm, like, still, I'm, like, literally on episode, like, two or three. I know. I'm sorry. Oh, my gosh. Just, Can like... I tell you a story? So I have, like... I usually wa- I was watching these episodes like in my bed before I was falling asleep and I have this tree outside my window yeah. and the shadows were really creepy. Oh god. Oh my god, I couldn't sleep. It was a bad idea. So basically don't watch them before you go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I play- I like need some time that I'm like not doing anything to just devote that day to like binge watch it and get yeah. through it. Yeah. Yeah, so don't spoil it, please. Because it's actually really not spoiling funny. anything. No one should spoil it. That's really not fair. Um, someone asked, ooh, Criminal Minds, what is your favorite character? They're all asking TV questions. So, all right. <clears throat> Whenever people ask my celebrity crush, it, well, I guess it's, like, the character, but Spencer Reed, like, ever since I was, like, 10, has been, like, my celebrity crush. And it's not, it's not the actor. It's just the character of yeah. Spencer Reed, but yeah, he's definitely my favorite. He's so cute. <laughs> Everyone's saying that. Oh, someone else. Oh, someone said Hotch is their favorite character. <laughs> oh, and by the way, I met Derek. <gasps> like, get on my level. Oh my god! I was at the Today Show, um, and I was like, I was getting ready to perform, and there was like, there's in the studio. There's like a little, like the part where they speak. And then there's, like, a different part where it's the performance. Right. And so I'm, like, just chilling, and I look over, and I see him. And, like, I always recognize his eyebrows yeah. for some reason because he has, like, the most distinctive. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And, like, I look over, and I'm, like, no way. I'm, like, <laughs> freaking out before commercial break. And the second the lights go on, I'm, like, I love Criminal Minds. I am apparently he's doing like soap operas now. Oh. I, I didn't know that, but like I only knew him as Derek. Was he there hanging out, or was he like actually he doing something doing for the show? Interview. Got you. That would have been funny if he was just hanging out. That would have been hilarious. You're just like, oh, you're just hanging out but, here. Yeah, we took a photo together. He kissed me on the cheek for a and he was a very Sorry. nice guy. That's amazing. So kind of similar to like related, someone asked what the favorite thing you've gotten to do since you won America's Got Talent. I'm sure there's been a lot. Um, Wendy, Wendy Williams. Like I just did that recently and I'm Wendy's biggest fan. And like, it was so crazy to be there and see it and be able to go, how you doing? And ooh, ooh, that's so good. And it was like, probably one of the most fun things I've been able to do afterwards. That's amazing. Someone asked when you're going to go on tour. Do you have plans to do that? Um, I would love to go on tour, but I'm trying not to, like, jump ahead because I don't even, like, the EP just got released. Exactly. I don't it did. know how well it's going to do. Aww. Um, so I would love to, um, but yeah. yeah. So people ask about your candy bracelets. How many you own? What color is your favorite? Um, I I like the pastel ones. I don't like the ones that are like normal rainbow colors. Right. And I don't I don't wear the same one every time. So when people ask me like, did you keep the one from your first audition? Right. But um, I wear a new one every time and. People like have sent me these like huge Seven. buckets, Seven. like like a thousand five hundred candy bracelets. Whoa! Whoa. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't, yeah. yeah. It'll get to a thing where like sometimes you'll like a long time ago when Food Fighters were first becoming a band, they did a video where they were mocking like a Mentos commercial, and then it got to a point where everyone would, like bring them to them at the concerts <laughs> and like throw them at them, and Dave Grohl eventually got like really mad about it. So. Maybe candy bracelets will be the thing where you're, um, <laughs> we'll have a thing. Oh my gosh, someone just asked, you just got Frankenstein, but someone asked if you were planning on getting a buddy for him. Well, I have two dogs. Oh, you have two. Uh, so I have two Pomeranians, <gasps> and Kuro and Ashton, they're full grown though. So, yeah. That's um, a- my one dog he's getting along with nicely. They play together a lot, so he's got a little buddy. My one dog, Ashton. We actually thought it was going to be the other way. I have Kuro and Ashton. And mm-hmm. Kuro's like a really needy, self-conscious dog. And Ashton's the more playful one. So we thought Ashton would be the one who would like really like him. Right. But it's the other way around. 
Kuro loves him, and Ashton's having like a really hard time. We've had we've had a lot of progress. It's just very slowly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. So, someone, some people who are watching are saying, like, I have a mini palm, too. Uh, let's see. What's the mice, most surprising thing for you recording your EP? Was there anything, like, in the process that you just didn't realize? or How much work the producer does. Um, I thought it was going to be, like, way more work than it was. It was really, like, um, there was no, of course, auto-tune in it and I found out like how they get it um like perfect on one take is um like say Katy Perry didn't use auto-tune she would sing the song like six times and then that's all you had to do like you had to just sing it six or seven times walk out and then they would take the best parts of each take so like oh take two had the best chorus take three had the best bridge and they would put it all together and like all the best parts. Yeah. And you, I would literally just like chill for two hours and I'd come back and it'd be like a totally transformed song. That's so cool. So That's amazing. And when you, when you write songs, do you have like a process yet? Have you like figured out like your way? I, I don't, I just, um, it's like all, uh, every song is different. Yeah. So, um, one song I may come up with chords and want to write lyrics to it. I may come up with a tune, write lyrics and then chords, or lyrics and then a chords and a tune, or lyrics and a tune and chords. And yeah. it's like all different. Well, it's good that you have different ways to do it because sometimes, like, if you end up with like some sort of weird writing block, you can like go switch to another way. That's really cool. Um, someone has asked if there is a video on the making of the EP. Did you record yourself doing it? Or... Uh, like a music video? I think it's just kind of like a behind the scenes is what they ask, but are you going to plan on doing a music video perhaps? I mean, hopefully, hopefully some, there's no videos right now. Like, <laughs> there's like nothing, but um, hopefully that'd be really fun. Yeah, that's so cool. Um, someone asked, how did you feel when you won America's Got Talent? I mean, I'm sure it was amazing in shock it's kind of like uh kind of almost relieved too kind of sad that it was like all over because it was like almost a year of my life and like i don't know it like it came apart me and you don't want to like let go yeah um so it was like a bunch of emotions like totally flowing through and rushing through me yeah um, have you been to school since you won America's Got Talent? No, I have not. Oh, oh, actually, yes, I have. And it was so much fun. Did people freak out? This is my, probably my best memory, like, of my life. Like, even thinking about it, it's like, Macy talk, but it was so much fun. So, um, I had a parade in Suffer. Mm-hmm. And um, I won, like, the Stave and Buster's card that's, like, uh, I can't, it was just, like, a bunch of points on it. Yeah. And I love Dave and Buster's. Yeah. So um, my, like, closest friends were there, and I was, like, we should go to Dave and Buster's. And, oh, my gosh, it was so fun. So we surprised them, and we got a limousine, and we, like, drove in the middle school in the limo when everyone's like waiting for the bus it was so much That's fun so to awesome. see like all the popular girls faces and like all the popular guys faces <laughs> like they were so mean and like oh, it was, oh my gosh it was so much Fun. That's I could see like a producer like scrolling this down right now and like it's it's the next like teen movie <laughs> you're like yeah girl that's what happened <laughs> that's amazing um is there any uh, are there any other musicians that you listen to that you're inspired by um Jason Mraz and Tom O'Dell especially Tom O'Dell I'm like really I love his style so cool uh, someone asked what the last song you heard that stuck in your head. I, I honestly... It's kind of good if you don't have a song stuck in your head, to be good. quite honest. I, I had a song stuck in my head. I think the last song that was stuck in my head was... Oh, True Colors. Ah. You're totally right, actually, Mom. I've been singing that all morning because I had to sing it, like, for rehearsal. 
And so all morning, I'm like, Chuka no It's a good <laughs> song to have stuck in your head, though. That's amazing. Um, someone asked about, are you excited about the changes that are happening in your life? Yeah. Um, I'm excited and, like, scared at the same time. But it's a good, like, scared. Yeah. It's exciting. Yeah, it's a, that's a normal, totally normal thing to say. Let's see. Is there a, is there a Grace Vanderwall Day? Someone asked what you will do for the next Grace Vanderwall Day. Oh, the Grace Vanderwall Day. I can tell you were at the parade or like watched a video. Of he must have watched the video. That. Is that the parade that you were just talking yeah, about? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Uh, what will I do? I don't know. Okay. Hopefully um, something like special. Something special for sure. Uh, let's see. Let's see what else people are asking. Um, someone just said that you need to have your own TV show. <laughs> yes! Okay, you did. You'd be like the Grace Vanderwall show. It'd be super <laughs> fun. Um, so let's like, let's like let you get back to rehearsing and all the stuff you need to do because you have a lot going on today. Is there anything else you want to say to everyone watching before we sign off? Um. Uh... Thank you for everything, especially like just for supporting me. I mean, because I was on a voting show, so yeah, I literally wouldn't be here without every single one of you. Um, so all the love, yay! Thank you, Grace. Thank Bye. you.